Hey, what up y'all? It's your boy Lil D coming at you from the den with another nursing video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about what you can expect from your preceptor as a new grad nurse. Now this video is aimed specifically at new grad nurses, travel nurses, nurses coming from different facilities. This is not the video for you. I'm talking to those new nurses who are coming onto the unit that are gonna be with their preceptor from maybe 10 to 12 weeks and what they can expect from us. Now I say us because I've been a preceptor for three new grads myself. They each got 12 months. But before we get into the video anymore, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. I post two nursing related videos two times a week here on this page on Wednesdays and Sundays. So if you haven't done that, you can go ahead and do that now. And make sure you hit that notification bell. It really, really helps me out. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Now I have been working in the hospital for eight years, three as a nursing assistant, five years as an RN, and I've taken a total of three new grads, each new grad getting 12 weeks each. So last year I got my first new grad where he got 12 weeks. This year I got back to back new grads where my first one got 12 weeks, my second one got 12 weeks, and I've actually been precepting for the past six months, which is crazy to think about. I haven't been on my own for six months, but I felt what better time to make this video. The first thing that you can expect as a new grad nurse coming onto the unit with your preceptor is that the first day, first week or two, you might be doing a lot of watching, but you have to be watching with an intent to practice. So this isn't nursing school where you're just kind of coasting by. You're gonna spend the first couple shifts watching your nurse, but don't be surprised if your preceptor asks you to jump in and they walk you through the steps. This is all part of the process and the earlier that you can get accustomed to and the mechanics of doing these processes yourself, the better it'll be for you as a new grad nurse. Another thing that you can expect from your preceptors is that they will probably assume that you do not know. And this is not them being disrespectful. This is not something that you should take offensive. But as a preceptor, I can tell you from my own experience that it's really hard to let go of the reins because working as a nurse, you really are more independent in what you do for your patient. So until you can prove as a new grad that you do know, for the most part, they'll probably assume that you don't know. And again, this is just a way of teaching you and a good way for you to learn. And what better way of learning than demonstrating to your preceptor that you do know. Coming straight out of school, you'll realize that school nursing is a whole lot different than real world nursing, that's for sure. And as a preceptor, I'm your preceptor, not your teacher. So I'm not dinging points. I'm not saying shame on you. I'm here to help you learn and get you doing it the right way. That way when you go off on your own, that you're confident. Whoa. Now I might ask, <laughs> well, why are you barking? Now I might ask objective questions and this isn't to grade you or to put you on the spot. This is just to make the new grads think. So don't get flustered when they ask you a question because they're probably really just trying to get you to learn something and you're really just having a conversation with one another. I feel like that straight out of school mentality leaves new grads feeling very stressed, but working in the hospital, working in whatever facility that you got a position in is not like school at all. And you're not gonna be deemed points. You're not gonna be in trouble if you don't know. This is a learning experience. And if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask your preceptor. The hospital I work at, they look at those nurses who wanna take on the new grads. And generally those ones who volunteer to take them will get them. So it should be a much smoother experience compared to a nurse who doesn't want a new grad and is taking one on. But that doesn't mean that as preceptors, we don't get frustrated. And just like you as a new grad nurse get frustrated, it can happen where your preceptor gets frustrated. And we're only human. The best way to get through this is through communication. 
and there have been so many times with my preceptees that we've had to talk about something, but we talk about it, we're adults, we get over it, and we keep moving on. Because in the end, they wanna be here as a new grad nurse, I wanna be here as a preceptor for them, and I really just want what's best for them. The last thing I wanna talk about is the honeymoon phase, and this ends very quickly, and reality starts to set in. Now, if you don't know what the honeymoon phase is, it's that first week or two as a new grad nurse, you're with your preceptor, and generally your preceptor is doing everything, so the flow in which the patient care is being delivered is very smoothly but you'll realize that shortly after that your preceptor is going to start expecting more and more of you and it's not because your preceptor is lazy it's not because they're trying to pass on the work to you it's because that's what they're here to do they're here to slowly get you accustomed to doing all this yourself and that's when I say the honeymoon phase ends it is when you as a new grad nurse start to take on more and more responsibilities start taking on more charting you take over the phones you take over communication you take on passing all the medications this is when reality truly sets to sink in and it can be very very intimidating but just know that this is a normal part of being a new nurse and that it does get better you just have to stick with it and just keep pushing through that is pretty much about it for this video if you have any questions for me on what you can expect as a new grad nurse go ahead and leave them in the comments down below Make sure you check out one of my other nursing related videos right here. I do post two times a week. Give this video a like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.